Good morning, saints. My name is Reason Chandler, and I'm the pastor of Jackson Street United Methodist Church. Welcome. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I am glad that you have taken the time out of your busy schedule to, to sit down and give God a moment of your time. It is something that we should do every day, um, not just once a week, which, which we have fallen into the habit of doing, uh, most of us, or a lot of us, actually. <clears throat> because life, yes, uh, um, we, we are faced with many challenges. Uh, we, we're faced with uh, having to schedule uh, our busy day with, with things to do for our families and, and things to do for ourselves and maybe even things to do for friends. Uh, but just imagine what that would be like or how much easier it would be if we would just give God the first moments of our day. If we would just, as we're sitting on the edge of the bed, if we would just uh, uh, give God a word and uh, uh, just acknowledge him and say, Lord, help us in the course of our day. Or as a matter of fact, lead us, Lord, in the course of our day. Now, I'm glad you're here with us uh, because this is the time that we have dedicated to God. This is the time that we have dedicated to focusing on hearing God's voice and knowing God's will for our lives. So let us bow our heads in prayer. Father God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God, for your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you that you loved us so much that you gave us your only begotten son. And the, the task that you gave him, O oh Lord, it is amazing. Uh, that it is wonderful. And, and we are grateful. Uh, that, that he's taken on the burdens that we could not carry ourselves. He has finished and concluded uh, in areas where we were bound to fail. But because of your love, oh God, we stand now victorious. Because of your love, oh God, we stand now with confidence. Oh God, we thank you for this precious gift of life. We ask you now, God, that during this time of preaching and during this time of worship, Lord God, that, that you would embrace us. Let us feel your presence, oh God. Let us hear your words, oh God. Let us know uh, what it is, oh God, that you want us to understand. Make it clear for us, oh God, that we might go forth with zeal, oh God, and excitement, knowing what the vision is, oh God, running to do your will. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. been talking about God speaking to the churches because under helping healing and hospitality uh, it is about uh, the body of Christ functioning the way that God intended for us to function uh, and so I thought it was 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 only right that that we would go to to revelations and and, and listen to what the spirit of God is saying to the church so we are now uh, talking about the church uh, in Thyatira. Uh, the Spirit of the Lord has come to this church to speak to them. Uh, you know, I, I love this about God, my Lord. Uh, uh, when he speaks to the church, the first thing he does is, is, is he encourages the church. Mm, my Lord, if, if we could be that way when we speak to folk, uh, when we talk to folk, uh, when we know that there's something we can help people with, our friends and our families, if we would start out with, with, with words of encouragement, mm, my Lord, it would make a difference. It, it, it probably would, 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 would do the same thing a farmer does uh, uh, when it goes to plant seeds. Uh, he doesn't just throw the seeds on top of the ground. Uh, uh, first, he has to uh, break up the fouler ground. Right, and then, and then uh, I don't know. You might not know this term, but then he comes back with what is called a disair, and, and what it does is it takes the, the the big chunks and and it breaks them down, and it makes the dirt even that much uh, uh, finer and, and more receptive to the seeds that he's going to lay, my Lord. And so this is what God does when when he's speaking to the church. He 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 breaks up the foul of ground. And he he acknowledges them. Hallelujah somebody. And he lets them know how important he is to them. Uh, hallelujah. He lets them know how much he loves them. And and he, and he also highlights the the strength and the and the and the goodness uh, 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 uh the the qualities that they have. He says to them he says he says you uh, uh, are enduring. Uh you are persevering. He says uh, you you are one who is faithful. Hallelujah, somebody. And you, you are continuing to do the work that I've given you to do. 
my Lord, isn't that something that would excite you if, if, if somebody approached you and, and, and said to you, you are a beautiful person. Uh, I love the way you dress and the way you carry yourself and your mannerism. Hallelujah, somebody, is something special. Uh, it is something close to God. Uh, you are a special person in the kingdom of God, my Lord. This is the responsibility of the church. This is the responsibility of, of the people of God. Why? Because we were made in his image. We are made in his likeness. So therefore, we have a responsibility to behave ourselves as God. Come on now. Not saying we are, but just saying that because of the characteristics that he has instilled in us, then we should also emulate uh, the same behavior. When we approach people, I don't care if they're sinners. I don't care if they're crazy. I don't care if they're drug addicts. I don't care if they're uh, any kind of person. But, but when you approach them, if you would just acknowledge their value, uh, acknowledge their existence, uh, acknowledge that, that, that they are created by God and they, they are fearfully and wonderfully made. Mm, 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 mm. God approached the church. Uh, because he wanted to hear them. He wanted, he wanted them to hear him. He, he did not want them uh, to fail, my Lord. He doesn't want us to fail. He wants us to be successful. He, he has already said that through his son, Jesus Christ, we have the victory. So, so when he approached the church, he said to them, hmm, I, I know your works. I, I, I've been watching you. And I'm pleased to see that you're faithful. I'm pleased to see that you're long-suffering. I'm pleased to see that you're kind. I'm pleased to see, hallelujah, that you're patient. I'm pleased to see that, that, that you are about your father's business. Mm. And then he says, but there is one thing. Come on, somebody. You see, by the time you get to, but there is one thing, they, 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 they are like a, a person going to the dentist, hallelujah, that's about to have a tooth uh, extracted. Uh, by the time he gets to pulling the tooth, there is no feeling because what he's done is he's shot the gums in the jaw with Novocaine. Hallelujah, somebody. So, so you see, kind words are like Novocaine. Uh, kind words are, are the things that help people uh, be able to receive the, the words that are hard, the words that are difficult, the instructions that may require them to, 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 to change and or even rearrange or, or, or even rid themselves of some things in their life, hallelujah, that has become now a stumbling block, that has become now a hindrance, that has become now something that, that makes it even more difficult for them to continue to do the work of the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. And so God's word to the church huh, is, is that, that, that there's somebody sitting in your midst or, or there's somebody that, that, that you, you're still allowing to cling on to you or be close to you that has the wrong kind of spirit. Hmm. My Lord, and the, the spirit uh, 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 that, that this church has as suffering is, is the spirit of Jezebel. Oh, my Lord. Uh, and the spirit of Jezebel is, in, in this text is, is teaching the people to look at life from a, to the wrong perspective as it pertains to the kingdom. Because we are members of the kingdom, you understand, and there's a lordship in the kingdom. Hallelujah, somebody. And, and we, we know our instructions are we are to love the Lord, our God, with our heart, minds, and our souls, and, this, and our neighbors as ourselves. So there, there's a covenant agreement already in place. There's instructions that keeps us in line. Hallelujah somebody that that makes us monitor and be attentive to our behavior hmm. and so but then the spirit of Jezebel that comes along and, and, and is causing people to see a, a, a sexual morality from the wrong perspective hmm. God has already established it he's already established that 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 in order for us to be faithful in order for us to be a uh, uh, kind in order for us to be dedicated and committed to our relationship, right? We must have no other God before us. Uh, hallelujah, somebody. So, so if you're involved with a, someone in a relationship, then it needs to be marriage. Hallelujah. It needs to be that one 
person. So you cannot look at sex from the perspective that Jezebel would look at sex because for her, it's a sport. For her, it's 18 holes of golf. For her, hallelujah, somebody is, 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 is all willy-nilly. It's, 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 we're free to do as we please, when we please. Uh, and so when this kind of spirit uh, uh, enters into to, to, into the mindset that God has already established, then there's confusion. <laughs> when, when that kind of spirit and that kind of thinking is being introduced, because listen, it's not done in a way that, you know, uh, um, that, that's just blatant. Hallelujah. It's subtle. It's made to appear as if it's okay. Uh, and they may even say, you know, God understands. I'm sure he does. He does know. But, but even in this text, he says, uh, you are tolerating her. So, so when he uses the word tolerating, then, then he's indicating to us that we already have a sense. Come on, somebody, that something's not right. We already have an idea that, wait a minute, this, this does not match up. This does not line up with the will of God. This does not line up with his word. This does not line up with his commandments. Something is out of place. Hallelujah, somebody. Uh, and so God says, but you tolerate her and you tolerate this teaching and you tolerate this influence. And, and after a while, what he's saying is it's going to corrupt the whole body. Uh, one apple can spoil the whole bunch. That's what I heard. One rotten apple can spoil the whole bunch. And so what's happening is you, you're you tolerating the smell. You, you're tolerating the odor. You're tolerating the bugs and stuff that start coming around. You're tolerating all of the ugly and, and all of the discomfort that comes with listening to and allowing this woman to spread this kind of word and teach this kind of teaching. Hallelujah. We have to be mindful of those that work with us. The Bible even just says that, that we ought to know them who labor among us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so God is calling the church uh, 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 to, to, to get in line, to recalibrate, and, and to know them that labor among us. Hmm. And then God goes on to say that, you know, uh, uh, they shall have their reward uh, 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 for those that, 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 that still have made up their mind that they're going to follow this Jezebel spirit. Uh, he says they will be tormented upon the bed of the very mindset that they have decided that they're going to live their lives. And not only that, but even the ones who, who, who come uh, become intoxicated by the influence of those who live that way. He says, they shall join you too. And, and they too shall suffer and be tormented in the final day. Hallelujah, somebody. Mm, 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 mm. And he says to them, but those of you who overcome, for those of you who are the overcomers, for those of you who, who, who keep my promises and keep my commandments and keep my will, for those of you, hallelujah, somebody who, who has rejected this teaching of Jezebel and, 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 and has, has rebuked her spirit, hallelujah, somebody, there's a reward waiting for you, hallelujah. Uh, I, 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 he says that I'm going to give you the morning star. Hallelujah, somebody. Y'all know who the morning star is don't you hallelujah and so they're gonna they're gonna receive a great reward for being faithful for 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 for, for acknowledging that 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 spirit of Jezebel is does not belong here and, and it needs to be cast out uh, uh when you announce in the church now that we are no longer gonna tolerate Jezebel we are no longer gonna tolerate that kind of teaching we are no longer gonna suffer that that existing here and 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 Paul put it away uh, when you Cast them out, hallelujah. You're not casting them out hoping that they be lost forever, but you're casting them out so that they might find their way, that they might come to their senses. Because when they're separate from the body of Christ, they should suffer, they should feel some kind of way. And if not, that's not your responsibility. That's not your fault. Uh, that is not the burden that you should carry. Uh, but you should continue to focus on, on the, the will of God for your life, uh, the, the, the task that God has placed before you, uh, the things that God has said you should do, his commandments. These are the things that you should move forward to focus on. Hmm. And this church is given uh, words of encouragement. Then it was told him, I, I have just this one thing kind of brought to mind this, the song that I used to sing mm, as a child. 99 and a half won't do. Uh, uh, God is expecting us 
uh, uh, to be 100. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. He, he, he has given us the, the, the equipment to be 100. He's given us the words to stand on, his scripture. He has given us his guidelines and his commandments, and he's expecting us to be 100. Hallelujah, somebody. He, he didn't give us nine commandments. He gave us 10 commandments. So he's expecting us to be 100. Hallelujah, somebody. Mm. So let us be mindful of that one thing. Let us be mindful of that one thing that, that might be hindering uh, 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 the, those who are unsaved from receiving the word of God, receiving uh, a transformation or receiving uh, a blessing from the kingdom. That one thing. Yeah, let us be mindful of the one thing because God is expecting us to be 100. He knows we can. That's why he started his conversation with encouragement. Saying you're going in the right direction. You're living according to my words and my instructions. Hold fast to my promises. For they are true. And you can live a life of 100. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be unto God. Let us bow our heads and pray. Father God, thank you huh, for your encouragement. Thank you, Lord God, for your instructions. God, we know that you love us because you chastise us, you, you correct us, you, you, you encourage us and you inform us. It's not a secret, Lord God. You, you, you make sure you let us know in our spirit, in our hearts and in our minds when we're going in the wrong direction. Because you love us, you do not want us to be lost. You do not want us to wander around in darkness, but you want us to be in the light. You want us to receive the reward you have for us. You want us to have this place of rest, God. You, you want us to eat from the tree of life in your paradise. God, we long for that. We thank you for that, oh God. Continue, oh God, to hold us and guide us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. This is a wonderful God that we serve. We should listen to him. He has our best interest at heart. He has already prepared a place for us. And I don't know about you, but I want to see that place. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his throne with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be all majesty, glory, power, and dominion now and forevermore. And all God's people said amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. Now take this word and go and serve the Lord with great joy. I love you and I'm praying for you.